Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be walking you through the optimal settings for AMD Adrenaline software paired with lossless scaling. If you're looking to find the best balance between performance and visual quality, this is the guide for you. I'll cover the ideal combination of settings to maximize your gaming experience, making sure you get smooth gameplay without compromising on graphics. Let's get started. All right, let's start with the lossless scaling settings. First, I've set the scaling type to AMD FSR and sharpness to 8. Combined with a display resolution of 1000p, this setup gives us visuals that look almost as good as native 1200p. For frame generation, I'm using LSFG 2.3 with the X2 mode. Personally, I find X2 to be the best option, as it reduces ghosting and improves input latency. Next, in sync settings, I've set it to allow tearing, this helps reduce input lag. Max frame latency is set to 3, which is the recommended value for AMD chips to balance smoothness and responsiveness. And finally, for Capture API, I'm using DXGI for compatibility. These settings give an excellent mix of performance and quality. Now, moving over to the AMD Adrenaline per game settings, I start by setting everything to default to get a clean baseline. Then, I enable Radeon Anti-Lag to help reduce input lag, giving a more responsive gaming experience. I leave Radeon Chill off since I'll be using Riva Tuner to manage frame rates instead. For texture filtering quality, I set it to performance to help boost frame rates, and I turn on surface format optimization for extra efficiency. Finally, I set the tessellation mode to override with a 2x level. This reduces the tessellation workload, balancing quality and performance. With these settings, we're optimizing every aspect to get smooth gameplay without sacrificing too much on visuals. Now, for Riva Tuner, I set an FPS cap based on the game's performance needs. For example, in the first game we're testing today, I've capped it at 48 frames per second. This helps maintain smoother frame pacing and keeps the system from overworking, which is especially useful for balancing power consumption and thermals while still delivering good gameplay quality. All right, let's jump back to the lossless scaling settings for a quick and easy way to activate it in-game. First, in the settings, I set the scaling hotkey to F1. Then, I head over to Legion Space Button Mapping and assign the rear button Y1 to the F1 key. This way, while in-game, I can simply open lossless scaling in the background. Press the Y1 button to trigger F1 and lossless scaling will automatically kick in, scaling the game instantly. This setup makes it super convenient to toggle scaling on and off without leaving the game. Alright, let's get into the first game we're testing today, Resident Evil 4 Remake. I've set it to run at 10,000p with medium graphics settings, paired with lossless scaling on X2 mode and Radeon Anti-Lag enabled for better responsiveness. To lock in smooth performance, I've capped the FPS at 48 using Riva Tuner. With all these settings in place, the game looks incredibly sharp and detailed, giving us nearly the same clarity as 1200p native resolution would, but without the extra demand on the hardware. The gameplay feels smooth, with minimal input lag, which is crucial for keeping up with the game. With these settings, ghosting is also at an acceptable level. It's noticeable, but not distracting so it doesn't take away from the overall gameplay experience. 